Hi! Welcome back to Do Try This at Home, the show that normally takes ordinary household objects and turns them into something extraordinary. Today is a little different though. I've got a friend that works for a major software company and he showed me the weirdest Easter egg I have ever seen on Windows XP. He claims that this Easter egg came down with the newest software updates, so if your XP isn't up to date, it probably won't work. What's, a, what's an Easter egg, some of you are asking? Well, an Easter egg is a piece of hidden code that developers place into programs, like Windows XP, that does something special when you activate it through some strange keystrokes or through some method that you normally wouldn't activate the software through, if that makes any sense. Maybe I can just show you. Here's what happens on the newest update of Windows XP when you do this. Follow along. Step one, we're going to open Internet Explorer. We're going to visit Microsoft.com. As soon as you're finished here, as soon as that loads, you close Internet Explorer. After closing Internet Explorer, you then hold down your control key and your alt key simultaneously and you right click the desktop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven times in all. You've got to right click while holding the control and the alt key down the desktop seven times. Keep the control key pressed, don't release it, but do release the alt key. Right click the desktop again and say create shortcut. Click it. You're going to get this shortcut up here called shortcut to Internet Explorer or whatever. You can now release all the keys. What you want to do is you want to right click this shortcut, go to properties. You need to rename, you need to go to your, you need to go to your general tab at the top and rename this shortcut to evil and hit OK. Now you've got this shortcut that looks like an Internet Explorer, but it says evil underneath it. At this point in time, what you need to do is you need to double click this Internet Explorer that says evil. Up at the top, you need to type this. You need to type C colon backslash Windows backslash, um, hold on, I'm going here, um, IE7 dot L-O-G and hit enter. When you do this, it's going to open up Notepad and this strange file is going to come up. Scroll down this file until you get to the number 99. You're going to see numbers in here, 99. On number 99, you want to go down, hold on, see where the number 99 on the left hand side starts. On number 99, you want to go down, we'll start counting, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The sixth occurrence of number 99 should have some numbers at the end. Take the last three numbers, in this case it's 180, 180. Remember those, or you can, like I'm going to do, copy them copy the 180 or remember them. At this point in time you can close all your windows out and you need to run calculator. So the way I do it is I hit Windows key R key that brings up a run box. I type calculator which is already in there for me and I hit OK. However you want to run calculator you need to run calculator. At this point in time make sure that you are in scientific view. If you are you want to go to the hex mode over here with this radio button. At this point in time, if you did copy it, you can just type edit, paste, or click edit, paste, and your 180 will go in there or whatever number you ended up with. Um, at this point in time, you want to come over and click on BIN for binary. You're going to get a number with some ones in it. You need to count the ones. One, two. Pretty easy for me. I got two ones. Okay, so you add up all the ones and you count those. You can close this now. So mine ended up being the number two. Next thing you want to do is you want to hold down the control key and the alt key again. You want to right click your desktop the number of times that you saw that. One, two. Then you want to come over here where it says evil and double click this. When you double click this icon that you made that's called evil, that is when the video will play. It's a video. Oh, I gave it away. It's an Easter egg. Well, I'll tell you. It's a video with audio and it's really, really screwed up and bizarre. I've never seen anything like it. But I'm not going to click this. What I'm going to do instead is I've captured the video and I'm going to 
edit it right in to this YouTube video that you're watching now so that you can see it firsthand. You need to try this though at home. It's really cool. Tell all your friends about it. Have fun. And remember, do try this at home. Here comes the video. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Very important, if this doesn't work for you, I post it on my website, www.mindpaint, M-I-N-D-P-A-I-N-T dot com, front slash evil. On that portion of my website, I posted these instructions so that you can copy them out for yourself, read them, and try it again. Bill is looking for you. Yes.